Hello everyone. The topic for this video is stock market index weighing methods. But before we know the methods, let's first understand the meaning of stock market index. It simply means measuring the performance of a group of securities. For example, Nifty 50 measuring the average performance of the top 50 Indian companies. It's not only about measuring the performance of the stocks, but if the index is broad based and represents the entire market, it can reflect the overall health of an economy as well. So there are a few factors to be considered when constructing an index like stock selection, target market sectors or weighing stocks in an index. This is the factor we will be understanding in detail. Index weighing means that the percentage weight allocated to every single stock in an index. There are three most common weighing methods used. We will start with the price weighted index first. For this method, we will see how the individual stocks are weighted, calculating the value of an index what the index value will be when the stock prices changes and the number of stocks in an index changes. Every single stock to be included in this index is weighted per its current share prices. For example, there are three stocks to be given to be included in the index with their respective share prices. On the basis of these prices, we'll calculate their weights, which equals individual share prices divided by sum of all the share prices. Stock A weighs 50%, B weighs 16.7% and C weighs around 33.3%. Clearly, stock A has the highest weight in the index. After understanding this weighing pattern, now we'll move to calculate the value of the index. It is a very simple arithmetic mean. We need to add the prices of all the stocks and divide it by the total number of stocks in the index. Continuing with the previous example, price weighted index value equals 30. Now we'll have to see how the index value changes as the stock price changes. Assuming stock A price rises by 20% due to some positive news, which comes to 54. On the basis of this change, our updated price index value now is 33. It rises by 10%. On the other hand, if B rises by 20%, same as A, which comes to 18, index value changes to 31. It rises only by 3.1%. What we need to understand here is that A and B both increased by 20%. But the percentage increase in the index value was not the same for both. The reason is A has the highest share price amongst all the three stocks and the stocks having higher prices will have a greater influence on the index. Next, we need to see how the changes in the number of stocks influence the index value. Assume that stock C went for a stock split in a 2 for 1 ratio. So the updated numbers are for stocks A and B prices remain the same. For stock C, its price before the split was 30 and after the split it goes down to 50. Now calculating the index value for stock splits, its pre-split value remains the same because there was no change in any of the stocks. In the case of post-split, the divisor has to be adjusted so that the index value remains the same before and after the split. The reason for this is index value changes for any market movement and not for a corporate event. So the adjusted divisor ensures that the new value for the index is same as before the split. Okay, so this was about price weighted index method. The second method value weighted index will come up in another part of this video. See you there. Thank you.